Hello kids, Patrick Livingston of easyanimalstodraw.com and today we're going to be drawing this animal. A border Collie. Start with making two circles as a guide for drawing in the shape of the animal's body. Begin by drawing four marks to show the size of each circle. Now you can just draw four quarter circles either by hand or if you prefer you can use a compass or a suitably sized object such as a coin or a lid. It's not so important to get your circles perfectly round though. Don't worry about that so much as they're only there in the beginning to guide you and to keep the proportions of your animal correct. It's these proportions that make the difference between a border collie and a boxer dog. You'll be erasing these guidelines at the end of the drawing so if they're not perfect it will not show in the final drawing. The circle for the shoulders should be a little bit bigger than the circle for the hips. How much bigger or smaller will help show the correct shape of your collie and make sure it looks collie-like. As you can see, even though I've had a lot of practice drawing in my lifetime, my, my circles are far from perfect, but that won't matter. Time now to draw the third circle. This is the circle for the head of the collie. And I find the smaller circles are actually easier to draw. Notice the distance between the circle for the head and the circle for the shoulders. And the distance between the circle for the shoulders and the circle for the hips. Draw in the guide for the ears and the muzzle of the collie. And now we draw in a line which will guide you when you come to draw the legs. Likewise, the hind legs. The line for the hind leg nearest you should be drawn into the circle. And now a line for the tail. Join up the circle for the hips and the circle for the shoulders. And you can see how easy it is now. You've got the reference points of the circles and it's a fairly simple line to draw in between. But because if you've got the circles the right distance and the right size, and you can draw these lines, these curves, approximately correctly, you're halfway there to having a collie the right proportions. Time now to start drawing your collie. And the first thing we're going to draw in is the eye. Now the pupil, it's a dark spot. As a general guide, you want to draw a very dark spot for the pupil and put in a little light spot. In other words, well, you don't put in a light spot, you simply keep that little part of the page blank uh, for a highlight for to show that the, the eye is shiny, that it's reflecting light. But you know, you can do that at any stage. If you have to, you can even go over it with a rubber to get back to white paper. Now I'm drawing in the ear. Each dog type has a distinctive kind of ear and the collies is floppy but sits up a little bit. Now we go on to the muzzle and the nose. In the beginning of the mouth 
and the top of the nose, or muzzle, sorry. Top of the muzzle. And the front of the collie, the coat, the fur is quite ragged. Whereas it's much smoother on the back. And the tail is quite fluffy. And the back of the hind legs also has got quite a lot of fur, quite a lot of hair, quite rough hair. As it gets much smoother as you go down towards the foot. Don't forget to add the claws in. Otherwise your dog's going to skid all over the floor. Draw in the second hind leg behind the first. Putting in the toes. Notice how ragged the, the hair of the dog is along its belly and behind its front legs. Don't forget to pause the video at any time if you think you need to take a bit more time. What you're looking at is speed it up twice as fast as I actually did it. And there you go, you've got your outline. So go back in and if you like, you can either leave it like that or you can go back in and remove all the drawing guides with the rubber. And of course, in doing so, you're going to rub out some of the lines that you want to keep. That's just the way it goes. That's always going to be the case. So, you know, it's like they say, you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. So just go back in, rub it out. Don't worry too much about if you rub out some of the lines you don't want, you want to keep. Just go in, you'll, you'll see a trace of them you'll see the trace of them still there and uh, it's much easier to draw them back in second time around. And this is, this is the part I really enjoy because you see now the, the, the drawing guides don't exactly look like a dog really, do they? But all of a sudden you get rid of the drawing guides and a dog appears as if by magic. I say that's this is one of my favorite bits of doing a drawing like this. Go back in and restate those pieces that were removed accidentally. It's easier to see now if there's anything needs correcting or refining. And I think that's that's about it, really, uh, for the outline. Making the mouth just a little bit more mouth-like, and that's not bad. That looks pretty much like a border collie to me. Now we come on to the shading stage. Going back in, darkening the eye and the nose. Leaving just a little bit of lighter colour on the nose. 
and now the muzzle hairs, or at least the sockets, if you like, of the muzzle hairs, probably have another name, I don't know. And as you can see from the, the picture top left, our collie is black and white, which is a fairly typical arrangement for collies. Putting in a second ear on the other side. Shading the tip of the ear where it folds over. And remember the shadow underneath is going to be darker because it's in shadow underneath in the inside of the ear. It's the same shade, it's black, like the top of the ear, but it gets less light because the ear is shading it. Now you notice um, the direction of the strokes is in the same direction as the fur of the dog. This is important because it helps create the illusion that you're drawing in each, each hair. But it is just an illusion, you're not, of course, drawing in each hair, that would take you forever. And you'll notice that the finished dog, this dark patch on the back of the dog, it's not, I'm not going to make it completely solid. I'm going to give some indication that the coat has a little bit of shine to it by varying the shades of gray. You see there are, kind of, there are bands coming down. This gives the illusion that the coat is a little bit shiny. A little bit of shading underneath the belly, because even though it's white, it's a little bit darker than the top, because if the light's coming from the top, there's less light getting to the belly. And also the, the hair is rougher, so that blocks some of the light as well. A rough surface, even if it's white, will look greyer than a smooth, shiny white surface or a smooth white surface. Again, just a little bit of an indication of the, the white part of the coat. And now to add a little bit more to that black patch on the back. And it just creates a little bit of an illusion that the coat is shinier. Restate the mouth a little bit, give it a little bit more focus, a little bit more emphasis, because a lot of the character of the dog is around in the, it's in the head, in the mouth, and the eyes. Add a few claws. And there you have it. One border collie. Um, if you'd like any more information or a PDF guide to drawing this collie, head on over to easyanimalstodraw.com where you'll find some free downloadable files to help you with your drawing.